The jury in D.C. has decided that Rudy Giuliani must pay two Georgia election workers $148 million in damages, punishment, after that same jury found the former mayor of New York City guilty of defaming them. Michael George has more on the verdict tied to lies about the 2020 election. After deliberating for about 10 hours, a jury awarded Ruby Freeman and Shea Moss $148 million in damages, payable by Rudy Giuliani. That's more than triple the amount asked for by their lawyer. The absurdity of the number merely underscores the absurdity of the entire proceeding, where I've not been allowed to offer one single piece of evidence in defense. Giuliani repeatedly said he would take the stand, but never did, and his attorney presented no case. The former lawyer to President Trump accused the mother and daughter election workers of exchanging electronic drives to flip votes in Georgia after the 2020 election. An investigation by Georgia's Secretary of State concluded Giuliani's allegations were unsubstantiated, and in August, the judge ruled Giuliani liable for defamation. Throughout the trial, Giuliani continued to spread lies about the women. The women shared the emotional toll after the verdict. I can never move back into the house that I called home. I will always have to be careful about where I go and who I choose to share my name with. It's likely they'll never see the full $148 million amount, according to CBS News legal contributor Jessica Levinson. What it will do is set up essentially a payment scheme and Rudy Giuliani will never become a wealthy person. Any money that he makes should go to making this verdict, to paying it towards this verdict and trying to make the plaintiffs whole. Giuliani says he'll appeal. Michael George, CBS News, New York.